Good morning, guys, and welcome back to DDS2. I tell you what, if you're trying to get humbled, sleep on one of these bad boys. Hopefully today we're going to be able to scale the business, add some new product, and never sleep on the floor of a bunker again. Now, well, one thing I did find that I'm really excited about, we had a small backpack at our shelter inventory. So bags, backpacks, belts, and suitcases expand your inventory or quick slots significantly but could also negatively affect your movement and visibility. So we're going to see if we could put this on. I think we add this in our wardrobe here. We should be able to carry more product now. And uh, that's a good thing because we've got a lot going on. If we take a look at our phone, we're starting off with some deliveries. We're already late here. So we've got a two, a three, a four, and two fives to start things off. So let's get to packing. We've got a two, a three, a four, and we're gonna be looking for two fives. Let's go ahead and pack those up and take them. Let's, uh, I say we get these out the door first. I do definitely wanna grab some more while we're venturing out and about today. We still didn't have enough space for some of the packages, but honestly, that would have been a lot going on there. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna make some money. We need to go get some fertilizer so we can get some plants rolling. And uh, I also want to see what we can do about expanding into some amp. Try to get some amp rolling and uh, whatever else we have going on. You looking for anything? Nope, looks like you're good to go. Maybe this person over here. Are you looking for something? Viviana, what are you looking for? You're looking for a five. I couldn't carry either of the five, so I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Sorry, babe. All right, sorry about the delay here. We got a little three gram baggie right there. We're making profits. Not bad. We, we got to make some money here. We've still got a, a little bit of, of, you know, reserves in the bank that we kind of started with, but we gave 50 grand to our boy earlier in the last That's episode. Right Hopefully here. he's going to get the uh, the thing all fixed up. That's the other five there. We have somebody here looking for a four. I do have the four on me. Are you the one looking for the three or, oh, or the, the two? Beautiful. All right. I'll drop that off. We're going to go grab two five grand bags and that's going to be a good solid start to our day. I'm thinking it's probably not the Best idea for a super early pickup. We had all five of these orders right at the end of the last episode, and I put them all at 9 a.m. this morning. So I, you know, lesson learned. Let's give ourselves a little bit of time to wake up, a little bit of time to organize to get ourselves good to go. I think you wake up at 8 a.m. in game. So let's grab uh, two five gram bags, and that's going to be a wrap on all the early morning deliveries. Break a little five piece right. off for you here. Then we're going to head over to the other side. We're going to grab, um, so we, we want to create some new customers and the other we're, we're gonna be heading over to the other side of the island we're gonna try to see what we can get into over there so we're, we're gonna i'm gonna pack up like you know a couple two grand bags a couple three grand bags if we see people on the side of the road that we could talk to that might be interested in you know what we're picking up and putting down then we might be able to get some new customers and start building some hey, reputation over there so Drop off this one here. What are we getting for five grams? $9,500, not bad. All right, so back in the lab here. I'm just gonna say, let's go with maybe two of each as much as we could do. I feel like two, three, and four are the most common ones. So if we can get two of each of those, pack and take, can we, we can carry all that now that we have the backpack. All right, our next mission is gonna be to get these guys growing. I think we need some fertilizer. Obviously, we went and grabbed that towards the end of the last episode, and then we ended up drowning when we tried to swim across the channel. So we're going to have to go buy that again, and uh, we'll hopefully be able to succeed this time. Now, we do have to be really careful about drawing attention to ourselves. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. We know that you can get into some trouble. You can be raided and things like that. We've ran into a couple blockades and we've got a backpack on now. So that's going to draw some attention, but we got to get this going. So we're going to go across. I want to check out the general store here. I'm also going to go up to the weed and equipment store. We're going to get some fertilizer and then we may even stop back by our office. Which one is the office? I forget because I think we have a, a message that we could do. Retrieve the repaired motorboat engine. Gain information on additional hideouts. Shoot. All right. We got to be careful. Are you friendly? Looks like he might be friendly. We also got to be on the lookout for people that hopefully don't want to rob us and just want to buy product from us. So let's hope for the best. Looks like he's waving us down here. See, like, is this, could this be a potential new customer in the archipelago? Two amps. Sorry, I don't have that on me yet. Dude, look at the other island we're going to be able to go to eventually. That's, that's our next mission. Going to be checking that out. But for now, we're just going to keep pushing. Hair stands up on end a little bit when we get to these roadblocks i'm kind of it's never good to assume but i'm kind of assuming the first two islands are safe i might be jinxing myself right now but i'm i'm really hoping that's the case i'm just trying to will it into existence how you doing bro you need anything you're good good doggy all right 
Mechanic is a new location. But yeah, it seems like it'd be it'd be tough to get into trouble in this area. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to breeze on through. Shoot. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to carry the fertilizer that we buy because we bought a bunch of brought a bunch of, of product with us. So let me see fertilizer. I'm gonna put fertilizer in the basket. We're gonna take both of them. Can I buy those? That goes into our inventory. All right, we're good to go. Whew. Hopefully we can make it home and not lose it this time. I'm gonna see, I mean, I don't wanna go too far. We should stop by the general store too, but I wouldn't mind trying to find some new customers out here. I think you're just supposed to talk to people on the side of the road. I'm not seeing a whole bunch of them. Maybe this guy here, I think this might be the general store. How you doing? What are you looking for? Amp, dude, come on. I don't have that yet. How you doing, sir? What do we have going on? Uh, I want to buy something. What do you, he's got water, cigarettes, chocolate bars, backpacks, ethanol, vinegar. I've got a feeling duct tape, tin foil. I've got a feeling these, these are going to be some of the, the items that we need, but we don't have that ability yet, unfortunately. Hey, kitty, who's a good girl? Yeah, we gotta wait for, for our boy Marcus to fix the lab back up. All right, so we got some fertilizer. We can at least get uh, things rolling again for us. Got a couple of orders coming in. I'm just gonna schedule both of these for the next hour. Should be able to grab those soon. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, no new customers, but at least we're moving in the right direction here. 50 bucks, bro, come on. Gotta be paying this 10 times a day, but I guess it is what it is. Oop, another message here. All right, at least we got a lot of potential people on this side. We just, we gotta start selling over here so we get a reputation, we start getting more orders. Just waiting on our three o'clock appointments to come around, which should be happening and just one or two seconds they should pop up on our screen we're going to be able to go deliver it sometimes it takes a moment so let's drop off our uh, our orders quickly here looks like we got a guy here we should have some in our pocket already we shouldn't have to divvy it up anywhere else so we got a three here let's confirm that he's good to go looks like we might have somebody else in this area maybe no got four deliveries to make but we should have at least most of these available oh all all the other ones are here shoot i don't think we're gonna have quite enough we need a three here so i'll give you the three already had these in our inventory tell me you have an even number she wants a two all right i got you and the last one's right here do you want an even number a two we had everything let's go that's what i'm talking about all right best plug in the lands got it all done didn't even have to go back but let's go get some plants growing that kind of works out well we need to get a huge backpack and just have a bunch of twos and threes because i haven't seen many people order one so if you have a bunch of twos and threes you'll just be able to make anybody's order it'll just come in in smaller amounts we do have a uh an order for four coming in i think next so let's i'm gonna pack up a four add two more twos and two more threes hopefully we're gonna be able to take all that not enough space shoot what we need to do is move the fertilizer into our handy space so that should open up can we do two threes now beautiful so we've got that now what we want to do is get these things rolling so to make an indica plant from seed we're gonna need a seed fertilizer and water can you just craft it you don't have enough ingredients. Why? We've, we've got 800 grams of water. We have one seed, which we have here. Fertilizer, which we have here. I'm going to have to figure that out in a second, but we got to go make this delivery before we're too little too late. We're going to be a sad panda if we don't get good reviews. So let's just go drop these off. This fire pit's a popular spot, huh? All right, I got you. You're the one looking for four, right? I got a big old bag of four. Nice and tight. It's time for me enjoy i mean we're good for right now the thing is we just we're gonna need to be able to make more product here soon we're running low ish we're at 31 grams left so that's like a third of what we started with we need to be able to grow more i got it figured out i had to look it up a lot of people have struggled with this you have to take your fertilizer and unpack it and then that automatically puts it in here so now we can craft this because we have the water and the fertilizer down here so that's going to take 16 minutes and 36 seconds we're going to be growing we should have bought a small light bulb install a special led bulb here to improve the performance of the grow box so we're going to have to go buy more fertilizer and more of that can we can we craft this one too it looks like we can so i'm gonna uh, do we want to do the light bulb let's wait on the light bulb let's see how that changes things so we're going to go back out we've got a few orders that i might end up doing honestly for tomorrow we'll see shoot it's already 6 p.m on sunday this feels aggressive, but I'm going to head back out. We're going to see if we can get 
a light bulb and maybe try to sell some stuff over on the other side. I want to put my foot down over on the, what's it called? The archipelago over here. We need to stake our claim. We need to make sure people know our name, our number, and orders can start coming in. I almost wonder if that's going to help with Marcus unlocking the next part of our thing so we can actually start making some, some new product options. Yeah, I'm going to put all these, like, tomorrow at, at 10 a.m., I think. We're still getting quick responses, even though I feel like it wasn't that quick, so I don't think there's too much pressure there. What's up, bro? You could use some green, right? You want some bud? Nope. All right. Come on. Nobody wants just good old-fashioned fun. You good, sis? You need anything? Nope. All right. Well, it's... It's not easy to sell to these people. I tell you what, this is kind of ridiculous. No, nobody wants anything, really. Oh, we got a potential taker here outside of the, uh, the botanist. Please tell me. Ooh, he wants three. We got just what you need, baby. All right. Archipelago reputation level increased to zero. Change to zero. We'll take it. You got to start somewhere. So now if we take a look at our map, does it give us... There's the village fast travel point. We need to start buying bus tickets. I don't know if there's a bus station on here. I don't think there is, which is why we're still running all over the place. All right. Let me get... Uh, let's see. When do you restock? On Monday. I'll manage to get more stock then. Let me see what else you have. Do you have the light? Empty glass pipe. Vial. UV bulb large, cannabis indica, indica seed, flower pot, fertilizer. We don't have any, f well, no, we don't have any fertilizer. The large UV bulb is 9,400. Is that what we're looking for? I'm going to, I'm going to buy that in the hopes that it might be. I'm also going to see what we have over here. Small containers. Oh my goodness. Okay. There's all kinds of stuff. We could buy more grow boxes, fermentation, pressure cookers. Lab trays, drying racks, large containers. I might buy a few of these just to increase our storage in the, the base. We could ferment substances. Dude, this this game is, is going to be really, really deep, isn't it? I, I remember the first game was pretty deep, and I feel like we have infinitely more things now. We haven't gone left yet. He's good. We already hooked him up. How you doing? Good to see you. You need something? Can I help Who's you out? Here? Looking for amp. I don't have that. You guys party a little bit too hard for my taste. Anybody over here? A little bit nervous to be going in places I haven't been before. Uh, okay, she's she's kind of a little crazy. Got another fast travel point. So that's going to add that. So we, yeah, bus tickets are going to be the way to go. We need to figure out if there are any on our home island, though. I'm going to head back before it gets too late. And we start getting in trouble. Those look like bandits. I'm going to keep going. Oh my god, dude. I noticed that, oh, Lorena's asking for something. Lorena, I'm a little bit busy right now. I don't have any stamina. Please tell me they didn't see me. Whoo! We got a big old backpack with a bunch of bud in it. I, I don't think we want to run into those boys right now. Although, to be honest, it's I'd be more sad about the light than anything if we ended up losing it. So I'm just going to try to get back home as fast as we possibly can and hopefully not have to worry about them. Take me away, bro. Appreciate you. All right. They survived. We got it done. It would be super helpful if we had a bus stop in town. I doubt we're going to have a bus stop considering we're on this island by ourselves. So if we buy, we can buy bus tickets from the shop up here. And that's going to make our life a little bit easier. Oh, yeah. She's got 15 bus tickets. I'm just, I mean, should we just buy all of these? We've got money. It's going to cost us 300 bucks. Not enough space. They take up zero kilograms. What do you, I can't even buy five. Okay, I think we might be maxed out on our, our inventory with this UV bulb. Let's go see if that thing works. Back home, baby. Let's shut the door. Make sure nobody can get in. And uh, I'm I'm feeling pretty good. So let's see. Is this thing still growing? 740. All right, I guess we don't get to see like anything sprout or anything. I'm going to try putting this in here. No, we need a small bulb. So I'm going to put that in our handy space. We don't need it right now. I also didn't, I guess if we buy the containers, does that just automatically go to our, our storage space here? I'm not sure if 40.15 kilograms increased or not, but we'll take it. So we've got that. I guess I didn't see any light bulbs or anything. So we're just, let's just plant this plant as well. You don't have enough ingredients. How? Oh, because we don't have enough water. Well, if we take this, if we put water in our inventory, are we going to have to have to unpack the water? And then that's going to unpack it into here, maybe? That gives us 2.7 kilograms. We need 600 grams, so we can craft this now. Okay. 
Makes sense. So we've got two grow boxes going there. Those are going to grow. We're going to dry them. We're going to be ready for tomorrow. We've got quite a few people set up on our, our thing for tomorrow. If we open up our calendar, whoo, two, two, four, four to five. So we're going to get these set up for the morning so we can just wake up and immediately run out and get some money. And uh, then I'm thinking, I mean, we have a lot of cash. We've got $65,000 cash. I'm, I'm thinking we go for this one. Retrieve the repaired motorboat. Visit the handyman and retrieve it. So we're going to be able to move without being seen on the roads. All right. Good morning. Welcome to day number three of our little private island business venture that we've got going on. We are back here with our boy over on the archipelago side of things. And uh, I need to come here to use the cell phone or the telephone, the landline. We don't have one of these in our base. I know we can add it eventually, but let's listen to our messages. Marcus. Dude, I got an important update on the production. Come over ASAP. See you soon. Great. Okay. So we have been talking to Marcus and asking him how production was going. And he made us leave to go talk on the phone to come back. So we might have an upgrade to our, uh, our lab, but we've also got our 10 o'clock appointment scheduled. That is definitely the way to go, though, dude. A little bit later in the day, I'll have to wake up and do your thing for a minute. Ooh. Got a barrel there is there anything in that no interesting little deserted beach down here feel like we might be able to find something but we're gonna make our morning runs and then we'll go talk to marcus gotta love that he's been in our you know the other room this entire time and he goes and leaves us a, a message at a landline halfway across the map that we have to go pick up but it's all right i appreciate you marcus so it sounds like we might have the ability to make some amp now we're gonna go talk to him first and see if we need to pick up any ingredients or anything i'm hoping we have some of the basics available how you doing bro guess who's got the lab working again huh you need anything you can get amphetamine for me i'll also synthesize some of the ingredients if you want to give it a try excellent what's next now but i'd consider investing in more equipment okay be able to make some product up here, but not a lot. Should be enough for now. So if Through we can set up more. The chemistry. Put that in your journal. Okay. No problem. Appreciate it, bro. All right. So we're leveling up. We're going to be able to make this now. If we take a look at our journal, if we go into our production chains, amphetamine. So we can make amphetamine, the processing of phenlethylamine into amphetamine, the extraction and processing of phenlethylamine into uh, thermal treatment with heat. You need a kitchen stove with oven and a small vermin fermentation vat or an electronic pressure cooker. So we're going to need thermal treatment, kitchen oven, fermentation vat, and then kitchen oven, electronic pressure cooker. Our, our morning deliveries are coming up now. Okay. Interesting. Do we have the, the pressure cooker and stuff or do you need me to, to yeah, buy that? So we could buy stuff straight from him. Eventually we should be able to make it. I'm just going to buy the max for 36 grand. We don't have enough space right now. We got to go make our other deliveries and then we're going to grab that. All right. Things are cooking here. So I assume he's going to be making stuff on the side that we can purchase from him just as kind of a last resort, just like we could purchase uh, street flour from the botanist or you can purchase the items and the, the ingredients that you need to be able to make it. We're going to be able to make it a lot cheaper than what we can purchase it for and we can make more money on that that end oh, should be interesting. Okay. So while uh, we're looking for a four here, I got you. You're the best. Bye. You're the best too. I appreciate you. Make sure you guys are using your stamp cards. T. Martin's uh, flower and herbal supplies. Every 10th purchase gets one free. This is a new delivery over here. Haven't done these. How you doing, Sylvia? Looking for a double. I got you. Confirm that. Dude, we are making so much money. I love it. How you doing, Sergio? You're looking for the five piece. Let me break it off. It is going to be great. I'm excited to see what we can make with the, the amp. We're going to have to buy some amp. We're going to have to go over to the other side of town and, and get things popping. So you're going to be the four here. Appreciate you. All right. So that's all of our inventory gone. We got more growing, which is great. Let's go buy some amp. Let's chop that up into some sizable portions we can give the people. And then let's uh, see if we can go buy ourselves a boat motor. I'm going to buy one. Let's buy one bag. Let's not go crazy. So 12 G's there. We're going to take this over here and we can, we can cut this up, right? So let's package substances. Nope. Drugs. Nope. We might have to deconstruct it first and that's going to put it in our, our substances over here. So we have 10 grams of, of amp. So now we're going to be able to package amp and I'm going to say, let's go, let's go with two twos and then maybe three threes. 
or two threes, sorry. We could also take these water bottles, throw this in our inventory, and we're gonna be able to sell those. And then we're also gonna be able to sell this stuff and maybe buy some stuff. Now, the thing is, we have a lot of cash. We have $85,000 cash. I kinda, you can't unpack that. We've got 35,000 now. How do you split? Hold R and B and drag to divide. I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm gonna keep 35K. I'm just nervous. We've had issues before we died trying to swim. I don't wanna start getting into other people's territory, selling new substances we haven't sold before and having them rob us for over a hundred grand. So we're, we're just gonna keep 35 on us for the engine and that's really all we need. Definitely looking forward to getting some running water at our hideout. Um, Let's buy something I'm actually going to sell. So I'm going to sell you. Can I max out these water bottles? We're going to get a thousand for that. All right, we'll take that. We could buy some, but I want to leave some space open in our inventory. So I'm going to hold off for now. Back across, baby. We got some new product this time. My man, my fairy, bro. I appreciate you. You're watching the business grow. You've been a major part of this. I couldn't do this without you. So hopefully we're going to be able to find some kind buyers. We don't even have the green stuff anymore. We're moving into the product that's going to ruin some lives and make Make us the most money possible. How you doing? Yep, this is exactly what I was looking for. Guy with blue jeans and no shirt on. Oh, come on. He wants the good stuff. He, he, the, the healthy stuff. I'm trying to sell y'all some of that. I don't even know what to call it. Trying to get you hyped up on that ant, baby. Come on. I'm trying to get you that, uh, you know, Red Bull gives you wings type vibe. Hopefully we're not going to get assaulted here. Oh. Hello, we just got an order for AMP. Amphetamine 2Gs on the small island. All right, we, I mean, we could schedule that for a little bit later. I'm going to say like 16. We're looking for AMP. We're looking for we. We're looking for AMP. Okay, we, we actually have a lot over on the small island. I was trying to build up some new customers over here though. Last time we were here when we had a bunch of green in our pocket, everybody wanted AMP. And now we're here with AMP and everybody wants green. So an electric pressure cooker is 32,500. And then the small fermentation vat is 12,000. I'm thinking maybe we don't invest in these yet. I, for right now, we'll just have lower margins and we'll... I'm going to buy a, a couple, a couple, what's it called? Fertilizers here. That always makes sense. But yeah, maybe we'll just have smaller margins for the time being. We're trying to figure out what we're buying, what we're selling, what makes the most money, that sort of thing. So we'll just buy it off of our roommate for as long as we need it. Bro, there's nobody here now. There were so many people that wanted AMP before and everybody's gone. I'm gonna go back to the small island. We got a bunch of orders coming in. So I feel like we got to take care of the people. We got to get it done. So we're, we're gonna make some money and then we're gonna go buy that boat before it's, you know, the end of the day. Let's at least offload what we have because we are going to a new island for that boat. So I want to drop our cash off. I don't want to have anything on our person just in case things get a little weird. 5 G's of AMP, our first one, leveling up to level four. Let's go, baby. Sometimes the language is is changing as we play here. It's early access. That's all right. Are you looking for anything? No, he's he's chilling. Looks like we got somebody over here. What are you looking for, my man? He's looking for three of the AMP. I got you. It's our second AMP deal. And then we have a girl here. She wants two of, of MJ. Let me go introduce you to Mary. I just got to pick some up. Don't you worry, girl. But yeah, we got some more um, fertilizers. So we're going to be able to grow more plants. I think we have one or two more seeds left. So we should be good to go. All right, this is getting a bit crazy. So we need four AMP. 2MJ, 4MJ, 2MJ, 2MJ. So 3, 2, and a 4MJ, and a 4 amp. 3, 2, and a 4MJ, and a 4 of amp, which we're going to have to buy more amp off of Marcus, but that's all right. It's going to cost us 12 Gs for 10, but honestly, we make so much. Oh, we can't afford this payment because we put all of our cash in the thing. I don't want to get robbed. You're really living with me and you don't think I'm good for it, Marcus. I don't, I don't appreciate that. You know what? I'm just, I'm, I'm going to buy everything that you have because we know, we know eventually we're going to use it anyway. So we might as well have it. We're not, we're not actually making it ourselves yet. So when he restocks, we'll have more to be able to choose from. So, uh, oh shoot, we needed, uh, let's actually get these guys taken care of first before we get ourselves in trouble. So I'm going to put those there. We're going to put these here. We can craft another one because we have all the water and, and fertilizer that we need. I think we might be able to craft two or we might not have a C. We don't have a C. That's fine. We're going to throw all of these in the, uh, the what's it called? We're going to max 
max it. And the dryer, what do we not have? What do we need? We're gonna max out the dryer, get everything going there, beautiful. And then we also, I think we had another delivery that was scheduled, it just came in. So we need three twos of MJ, one two of amp, and then one four of each. Bam, look at that. Let's pack and take. Can we, f shoot, we can't fit in everything. Well, let's let's take our cash out. We need bigger backpacks. That's our, our biggest struggle at the moment. Okay, I thought we bought a bunch of amp, but it's saying we don't have enough. I thought we bought like a, a ton from you, Marcus, but Marcus doesn't have any left. He's out. I thought we bought like 30 grams from him. I thought we spent a ton of money, but it's it's not here. There's none over here. There's none in here. We've got three twos of canna. We've got one four of canna. Bam, there it is. All right, we got a whole bunch. Let's pack and take that. Let's go. Going to be able to fit it all in. We've got four inventory slots. We really need to get better backpacks happening, but uh, all right, things are looking good. Let's go sell all this. Honestly, that should be close to we'll probably have more than we need but it, it should be a good amount we should be able to buy that boat i'm gonna buy me a boat baby we're, we're gonna sell a bunch of drugs and buy a boat this is a great a great 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 life plan where's our person here over there Dang. sorry a little bit slow here she's looking for a two of miss mary i got you i don't have enough space for cash what are you talking about man i hate the inventory system i'll tell you that it's really stupid that i i only have four slots all right i've got one of this four so if i give that to him it should clear up a spot and make room for my cash i still don't have room for the cash so if i drop the one amp on the ground hey. I, well, I certainly hope not because I'm dropping drugs all over the place. Now I can pick this up, right? Plastic bag, I'll put this here. Now, is that, a, that it's gone. Now we've got a space for, ca that's stupid that cash takes up an inventory slot. Come on. But yeah, now we've got a space for cash. So now we can drop you one of the twos. Confirm that, bada bing, bada boom. It's weird too, because like it's, it's not like we're weight based here. Like it, it's slot based. So if you had 52 gram bags of, of Mary, you'd be fine. But the moment that you have a two, a three, and a four, you're taking up three slots, which is obviously not very smart it should be weight based we got a, a two here okay we've got twenty one thousand dollars already that's what i'm talking about we got your it's not the right amount are you freaking kidding me what and how did that happen i really wanted to be able to buy the boat motor today but i don't know if we're gonna be able to do it the sun's gonna start going down soon i feel like it's a bad idea so we might have to take a chill pill we're gonna go back and turn this one gram bag into a two gram bag. We messed up. We got a buyer over here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Your boy is not very smart. I have one grand instead of two. I'm not trying to short my customers, that's for sure. And then we're gonna go wrap up with the last one. It's 6.42 p.m. The sun goes down quickly. I, I just, I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. I think we're gonna sleep off the night and we're gonna head back. We're gonna grab the boat first thing in the morning. Shoot, that was literally perfect too, dude. We had 33,400 and we need what for the boat? 30,000 even. So it, dude, it, it would have been, it would have been money. We would have timed that perfectly, but it's all right. I'll see you all in the morning. We're gonna take on a brand new day, a brand new task. We're gonna buy a boat. Nothing's holding us back today, baby. We are gonna be going to that island over yonder. How you doing, brother? Good to see ya. I'm a little bit nervous. We'll see how this goes. I mean, we aren't venturing too far into the world. All this is gonna be unlocked in the full game, but uh, yeah, third island here. Moving forward, we have a boat here we might be able to buy. We also have gain information on available hideouts. Meet Marcus's contact, discuss available real estate to obtain additional hideouts for your operation. So uh, obviously both of those could be a really nice thing for us. And a Rottweiler outside of that. I've there was loading screen stuff about how you're able to go on raids and things. So maybe be able to rob some of these stores and businesses and whatever else at some point. But for right now, we're going to keep on the straight and narrow. We're going to go try to buy ourselves a boat. Call your mom, buy a boat, drink a beer, baby. That's what we're trying to do. Dude, look at this. We got cathedrals out here. Please bless us on this journey. Don't let us get attacked by bandits. I feel like that looks very bandity. Yeah, I'm going to leave that alone for now. So we're going off to this. Sometimes I hear footsteps and it freaks me out a little bit. We're going off to this beach over here. Is there anybody here I can talk to about buying a boat? The fuel depot. Again, I hear stuff moving around. How, How you doing? Pay for the repair. 30k for the repair. I got it. Yes, sir. Baby, do you have anyone to help? No. There's a bus stop nearby. I'll fix you a ticket. Okay. I'm Appreciate selling it. my own boat. If you're interested, it's docked by the pier. Also, 
You should visit my cousin. He's the local mechanic. You can buy motorbikes, and that's gonna help out there. for getting around. Let's pay the 30k. Well, look, there are a few different means Goodbye. of transport you can use in the game to travel around without walking. I look forward to Land that. Land vehicles, you know, like buses, cars, or motorcycles. All that can be used for quick traveling between spots and areas you unlock. Boats, on the other hand, can be used to travel wherever you like. As long as it's on the water, obviously. Get used to them. You'll use them a lot while expanding. Interesting. So we can kind of stay off the, the radar a little bit. Is this the boat? Can we use this? <sighs> okay, come on, dude. We died last time we were in the water. I'm not trying to die again. Don't don't run out of energy. You use energy when swimming. Okay, we're good to go. So a simple motorboat is $129,000. The rib motorboat, which is going to be a lot faster, is $165,000. He can get bus tickets for us, toolboxes, keychains, metal parts, gasoline. Interesting. I mean, we're just going to keep pushing. You know, we, we've got uh, $22,000 and a few bus tickets in our inventory. Somebody's barking at us. I don't like that. I don't know if we're going to be able to get guns or something at some point to be able to defend ourselves, but I would definitely like that a lot more. We're going to head through the sketchy tunnel where we're definitely not going to be robbed and ambushed and uh, we're gonna see what's going on over on this other side oh my goodness dude this game is it's, it's so big i feel like that tunnel might be asking for trouble it looks like we might want to go up top let's try going up top this map is huge i i, I think getting a boat getting a motorcycle it, it you know obviously we can use the bus tickets to go to fast travel points but like if we could have a motorcycle to zoom around and do our own thing that's going to make things infinitely easier the fact that we're doing all this on foot has been a little bit overwhelming for sure but we're going to go talk to marcus's contact over here which one is it looks like it's the second or third one and we're going to see if we can and you are get some intel marcus sent me a thing about oh, real yes, estate i am on vacation but i have a man he will show you around He's going to have a couple of places for sale around the archipelago. I'll mark them on your map. You will find his number on the sales board. Call him if you want him to watch the place. Got it. Since you are friends with Marcos, I will get you the loan. <laughs> this might come in very handy. Interesting. So we could take loans? I feel like getting loans in a place like this maybe isn't... The best idea. While exploring, you're to come across different hideouts to obtain. These hideouts make expansion and distribution easier and can be equipped with furniture and lab equipment as well as host employees. So you could have employees starting to run stuff. Like, what is this? There's a furniture store. Obtain a new hideout. There's another new hideout over here. There's a hideout over here. There's a hideout over here. So as we're doing business, what is this? Mount the engine on your boat. Oh, we've got a motorboat already. Okay, we haven't done that yet. I'm going to mark that task. I thought we were going to have to buy the rib, but we're fine. I'm going to ch check out the option down here. Hopefully, we're not going to hurt ourselves. But as we expand to new areas, we're going to be able to buy hideouts there so we can make product there and we don't have to do all the running back and forth. So I, I see this. I mean, honestly, this is this is a massive game. How you doing, bro? Well, Jamal? You. Uh, nope, you don't know me. You Wait a minute. You the one selling some goodies on the archipelago? The one and only. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. See you later, bro. Appreciate it. I'm thinking about moving in next to you. How much would this cost? $190,000. We do have a debt limit of six hundred grand, though, so we... I can't see inside. It's a pretty small hideout, but we could kind of start to expand the business. That's sick. So I think the goal would be to slowly but surely work your way out. You know, we're, we're going to start here, and then we went here, and then we'd take over this island, and we'd slowly move our way around. Of course, we've got the big island over here, which is where we'd probably make the most of our money. And you just kind of eke your way through. You take out some loans. You pay them off. I mean... That scared the shit out of me. Can I go inside? Oh my god, bro. Okay, this game... Hey, there's This game is a little bit creepy. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it, it kind of makes my hair stand up on end. I think because it's early access and there's not like a whole lot going on. But then you'll just randomly have the church start into a sermon that was odd what the f okay yep yep that's what i'm talking about that's enough of that let's go mount the engine on our boat please it's marking noon that makes sense you can't be upset about that church bells are gonna church bell but i just wasn't wasn't ready for it yeah it feels like everything's so silent there's not really a lot happening you just got like one dude in a skin colored t-shirt washing his van and then all of a sudden stuff starts popping off so 
we're going to uh, head back across and let's go get ourselves a boat. So we bought the engine. Ooh, it's down there. Okay. Back home. Feels good to be back. And it looks like we had a boat here all along. We just had to get the engine fixed on it. Look at this bad boy. It's a little rib boat too, so we could install the engine. You right, use boats to freely travel if around the map. Boat just like you walk around. Sprinting will also speed it up. But first, you need to undock it from the pier to be able to move. You dock it back in place the same way when you reach your destination. You can use boats both to travel as well as transport or smuggle items around the island. Oh, and consider buying a better boat. This one is trash. <laughs> I love how the, the subtitles did not match up to what he was saying there we've even got a uh we've got like a little a little sprint action we can use a little bit more gas on there but this is going to open up the ability to go wherever we so please i mean should we we could potentially try going to the mainland i don't know if they're going to let us over there i'm going to skim the edge of the island that we just visited and maybe we'll see so it sounds like we need to be able to get to a dock if we want to actually get off of it you can't just get off anywhere but yeah look at this freedom gotta love it this game is good in so many ways and then you see like the the animations here like come on the water looks pretty good everything looks pretty good and then we got our guy just pretzeled up with his legs and and not moving dude look at this it's not gonna let us get any closer unfortunately i don't think yeah it's not gonna let us go to to any new islands but look at that we've got a river coming through the big island we've got a pier that popped up over here so we are we safe over here? I think this is a part of town we haven't been to, but we can check it out. Hopefully we're safe. We pull up to the pier. Hold space to dock it. We can leave the vehicle. And look at this. Now we're over on a new side of the island we haven't been to before. There's a new furniture store we could potentially buy things from. We've got more potential customers over here. All right. So we can, we can use that to get around. We could use it to sell things. We can use it to smuggle things. We can use it to stay away from the, uh, the enemies, the, the checkpoints oh, check and things. That's it. Well, Got a bunch of furniture here. We could potentially buy. Oh, this is where you could get more kitchen stoves, telephone with a message recorder. I'm going to, can I buy this? I'm going to I'm going to buy this and then we'll have a telephone in our thing. We won't have to run to somebody else's hideout to be able to get it. You can even get paintings and stuff. But this game is insane, honestly. I'm I'm really impressed. Obviously work in progress. Obviously missing some animations and some things, but it it feels good. I'm really excited for this. To be honest, it's so deep. I don't want to get too deep into it considering we're in the early access like demo period of it. I don't think any of your progress is going to carry over. How do I get back on my boat? <sighs> oh, this could be bad. I have to get in. Enter. Okay, there we go. Get this thing started up. Let's get out of here. But, um, yeah, I, I don't think any progress is going to carry over. So, like, I, I don't want to put too much time into these demo videos and then just replay it again when the full one comes out. So, I'm thinking we'll, we'll probably call it a series for now until the full game comes out. And we'll either pick up where we left off or start over new when the full release is here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait for this, man. This is so much bigger and just expansive compared to the first game. There's so much more going on. We're going to have employees. We're going to have multiple hideouts. We're going to have all kinds of things happening. So I hope you guys are ready to start a criminal empire out here in the Caribbean. And uh, I'll see you guys there. Peace out.